Hey, hey, besties! It's Becky here with Bestie Becky's Crafts, and today I'm going to demonstrate how to make a memory dex card. Now, I've learned that memory dex cards are not a new craft, that they have been around for a few years, but I must have been living underneath a rock because I just found out about them and they are just a little bit addictive because they're such a nice small size to decorate and to give away and I am a member of a swap group and I will leave the Facebook page link for that in my description below but I thought I would show you how to make a basic memory decks card base if you don't have the punch because I've realized now that you cannot find the dies from Heidi Swap and you cannot find the punch that makes the little holes so you kind of have to make your own once in a while you might be able to find one on Amazon or eBay but they want a lot of money for that and just I can't afford that so I had to come up with my own way and I saw some tutorials on YouTube and on Pinterest and so this is kind of what I came up with. So anyway, this is one of my memory decks cards and it has two pockets here actually and I have made little tags to put in there and I've decorated it. So let's go ahead and let me demonstrate how I make the base of the memory dex card. So let's zoom out a little bit here so you can see. And this is just the base of a memory dex card. As you can see, it's, it's black. I started to make my Halloween stuff. So I cut a black one out of cardstock. A little heavier weight cardstock is best. And what you do is I'm gonna I'm gonna move to pink because I, I like pink. So we're going to cut a square that's four inches by four inches because the four inches wide fits in the Rolodex or the little boxes that you can make to hold your memory dex cards and you can go up to almost four inches tall. So I just go ahead and cut a four by four square as my start and I'm going to go ahead and make my tab for the top and let's see here here's my little tab at the top now you could just cut this shorter like to three and a half make your own tab and glue it to the top I have done that or you can use your We Are Memory Keepers tab punch board which is really easy and makes it go really fast so what I do is is if you never used the the tag punch board before you put your little I guess stopper thing I don't know what you call it in the side tab spot slide it all the way in so it's flush with that and flush with the top and you punch and there you've got the one side of your tab you see that now I'm going to take this out and store it up here so I don't lose it. And I just want a small tab. So I'm going to flip it over and there's a small, medium, and large. And I don't know if you can see that. Small, medium, large. And since I just want a small tab, I'm going to line it up with the small spot right there. And punch and there I've got my tab. Now this could be for either side so it's kind of nice. haven't figured out how to do it right in the middle but I will do that one of these days when I have a brain that's willing to do some math and then we're gonna cut off this part because we don't want it. So we slide it 
into our tab pinch board all the way up flush to this edge. Can't go any further. And then we've got our little cutting, and if you can see that, our little cutting knife thing there, right there. And what we do is there's this, oh well, I guess if you'd want to call it in here, and you just slide the round part into that well and then just cut your paper. And there you go. Easy as pie. Alright, so there we've got the top of our memory decks card. Now, I like to make the bottom holes on my card first and I have found a way to do this that has made my life a little bit easier and I will share it with you instead of measuring and marking with a pencil and then using the you know single punch and all of that I just use my we are memory keepers planner punch board this little doohickey and I use the round punch, I don't know if you can see that, and to put it in, there is like this little arrow and mark at the front, that's the center of the punch. And we're going to put that at 15. So you just line it up at 15, and you can see that, it's kind of hard to see. I think I got it in 15. Yep. Okay. Want to double check. And then it's really easy. Because then you just take your paper and you're going to put it flush. There's this little tiny edge right here. I don't know if you can see it. Little tiny edge. And you're going to slide your paper right in there and hold it. You're going to punch, and there's a hole, and then you're going to flip it over, and you're going to do the same thing. You're going to slide it along in there all the way down to where it can't go any further, and you're going to punch. Okay? So there you have two holes. Now, your two holes need to be one and a half inches in from each side. So if you measure to the center of your hole, it's one and a half inches that way and one and a half inches that way, which is perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So that just saves so much time. And then you need to just take your scissors and cut the little slots at the bottom of your holes. So I just take my scissors and it doesn't have to be perfect and I just cut and cut a little notch. There you go. And cut a little notch and cut a little notch. Now, whoever receives this, if they need to make bigger notches, they can cut bigger notches if they need to. So, I don't cut them too big. I probably cut them a little bit too small just for that reason. And then, if you want, you can round your corners or not. And I like rounded corners, so I'm just going to go ahead and round my corners. And on your tab punch board, it does have a place to round your corners, but I just get used to certain tools, and so I just use my corner rounder. And there you go. See? Wasn't that easy to make the base for your memory dex card? So you can make a whole bunch of these and have them ready to go to decorate. So, now I want to show you how I made this one. Because it has some pockets in it. So, I hope you catch the next tutorial. Until then, make some of these little memory deck cards and check out the info below. And I will see you soon. Thanks for watching. Take care. I'll see you next time. And keep crafting. Bye.